This is a video about the truly remarkable plant hemp. There is often confusion between marijuana and hemp. They are both cannabis and belong to the Cannabaceae family. What differentiates them from each other is the concentration of the psychoactive cannabinoid, tetrahydrocannabinol, often referred to as THC. Hemp has generally less than 0.3% THC, too low to produce an intoxicating effect, whereas cannabis can have up to 30%. Both contain other non-psychoactive cannabinoids like CBD, all in varying degrees. Hemp is a plant that's good for the planet in many ways. There is an urgent need to replace products, especially plastic, that cause environmental chaos. Compostable hemp plastic is one solution. There are a wide variety of other everyday uses for hemp, including paints, furniture oils, varnishes, lubricants and biofuel. Hemp is one of the oldest cultivated crops in the world, with a history dating back 10,000 years to Taiwan. This popular plant was grown extensively in medieval England and remained in cultivation until well into the 19th century when it began to decline. The vital material for the sails, rigging, ropes and sacks on naval and commercial ships once relied entirely on this important agricultural crop. Today, hemp fibre is still used to make rope, plus a variety of textiles for clothing, bags and shoes. Hemp fibre has three times the strength of cotton and the production of hemp has none of the environmental impacts associated with cotton. We continue to chop down forests at an alarming rate and this versatile plant is part of the solution to the deforestation crisis as it can be used to make paper, card and packaging. The natural insulating properties and strength of hemp makes it suitable to use in the building and construction industry. It was a popular building material for thousands of years but fell from use until in the 1990s a new product came on the market, hempcrete. This is made by mixing the woody inner core of the hemp stalk with lime and water. It is a strong, breathable, flexible, fire-resistant, mould-proof material. For the building industry, hempcrete, along with other hemp construction materials, are part of the zero-carbon solution. Hemp seed oil helps soften, support and revitalise the skin. It is used to make a range of body care products, including soaps, shampoo, moisturising cream and lip balm. Hemp plants provide an abundance of seeds, which are powerhouses of nutrition. The seeds are high in antioxidants and minerals like iron, zinc and copper, as well as calcium, magnesium, potassium, carotene, thiamine, riboflavin, vitamin B6 and vitamin E. Hemp is one of the best plant-based sources of protein and essential fatty acids. The shelled seeds contain as much as 30% protein in a highly digestible form and the essential fatty acids, omega-3 and 6, are in a well-suited ratio for human nutrition. The seeds also contain gamma-linolenic acid, a powerful anti-inflammatory. You can benefit from all these nutrients by simply sprinkling the shelled seeds on your food. A wonderful health-promoting oil is produced by pressing the whole seed. The oil should not be heated, but there are all manner of ways it can be used cold. You can benefit from the essential fatty acids by adding the oil to your favourite smoothies. Or simply use the oil to make a salad dressing. The shelled seeds can be turned into a rich spread. And the hemp seeds and oil can be combined with herbs to make a creamy nutty pesto that will enliven any salad. 
Follow the link at the bottom of the page to download a hemp recipe book clip. Hemp is a planet friendly plant. It requires no harmful chemicals as it is naturally resistant to pests and smothers weeds due to its quick growth rate. The long taproot can bring up nutrients buried deep in the soil. As the plant matures, dropping leaf matter returns more nutrients to the soil than the plant uses. The tall leafy plant creates a sanctuary for all sorts of wildlife. Hemp is relatively hardy, does not require large quantities of water and pulls huge quantities of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. Hemp contains cannabinoids, which have many therapeutic benefits. The best known one is cannabidiol or CBD. Our next video will look at the benefits of CBD, the medicinal properties of cannabis and the human endocannabinoid system. Considering the multiple benefits of hemp, you would expect everyone to be growing this versatile plant. I visited Hempen, an organic farming cooperative in Berkshire, and asked Ali to explain why more people don't grow hemp. To grow hemp in the UK, that you, you need to have a licence issued by the Home Office. Um, there are some aspects around this licensing that might make it difficult or prohibitive for small farmers to grow. For example, the cost, it's about £580 for the first year and um, about £380 for the renewal of the application every three years. Uh, license holders need to undergo DBS checks, police checks, to make sure that they um, are suitable and the farm needs to be vetted to make sure that the growing situation is appropriate so it's not too close to schools, there aren't footpaths and so on running through it. So when you apply for the licence you apply for a specific use, so for us seed and stalk for example and you would choose your seed variety based on what you were growing for. Um, so we typically use Finola uh, for seed. It's a great variety. Its profile is great for combining. It, has, it grows lower, which makes it easier to combine. Many or all the other varieties that we have access to in the EU um, are, are great for, for stalk as well. Uh, th we don't have any access in the EU to uh, hemp varieties specifically for the use of the flower um, or high CBD varieties. Obviously that's different in the States. Um, people are, uh, are growing, are um, uh, creating seed varieties specifically for CBD, higher CBD. Um, but in the, in the EU that's not the case at the moment. I asked Patrick, one of the founding members of Hempen, what needs to happen to enable British farmers to benefit from the opportunities of growing hemp. It's an incredible economic and ecological opportunity and the way we unlock that opportunity is by first allowing hemp farmers to harvest the whole plant and benefit from the value of all parts of the plant. In particular, at the moment, uh, the leaves and the flowers are very valuable for the CBD market. Um, in the UK, the domestic CBD market is set to be worth one billion by 2025 alone. Under the current regime, no UK farmer can see any of that money. And so if we can unlock some of that money for UK farmers, then we can start to see investment in the rest of the industry in things like uh, hempcrete production for eco uh, housing, uh, in biocomposites to replace plastic, in supercapacitors so that we can have biodegradable ba batteries in all our new electric cars uh, and things like that. The hemp industry uh, could be an incre incredibly profitable place in terms of uh, jobs, in terms of tax revenue, um, but also an incredible ecological industry for us to build on in the UK. Patrick, you're running a campaign at the moment. Can you tell me a little bit about it and what are the key messages? Our campaign is called Save UK CBD and that's because uh, it's called that because currently uh, it's not possible under the legislative or regulatory framework in the UK to grow and produce a UK grown CBD product. So our first message is to ask for hemp farmers to be allowed to harvest the whole plant including the leaves and flowers to make the very valuable CBD and thereby unlock the rest of the value in the industry in terms of uh, eco-construction and hempcrete bioplastics um, and supercapacitors. The second message is to take the regulation away from the drugs and firearms unit at the Home Office who really see uh, the, these applications for 
growing hemp as a, a problem akin to uh, a drug or a firearm um, and actually move it over to DEFRA who understand the needs of farming and farmers and who actually may be able to be a more, create a more supportive framework for this wonderful agricultural crop. Uh, and thirdly, we'd like to see an evidence-based approach to setting a minimum THC level in the product. Uh, currently, uh, the level of THC allowed in a product is so prohibitive for, for farmers and consumers that um, actually farmers actually can only choose from a very small number of varieties that may not be ideal for British soils and British climate climatic conditions. Um, we'd like to see a level more akin to international standards, uh, say 0.3 in Canada THC in the product, or in Switzerland 1% THC in, in any product, uh, thereby allowing up to 60 or 70 varieties to be chosen from by farmers. Thank you Patrick. How we choose to live now determines our future. You can make a difference to your own health, the health of communities and the planet by supporting UK hemp farming. Hemp is a plant that supports nourishing and sustainable living in harmony with the environment and ecosystems on which we depend.